Well, welcome back to Channel Rolling. Today I'm going to show you how I unthaw pipes. There's three or four of us working on this building. I'm responsible for the basement. We got someone on the uh, second floor and we got somebody on the uh, third floor. I guess there's a, some sort of a spare bedroom up here with a bathroom up here. And uh, the place froze right up solid. Yeah, and uh, we haven't encountered anything broken yet, which I'm amazed. But what we're doing is we're just kind of going no, around and we're just concentrating on these elbows first. And we're just using a hair dryer to do this, all right? So just concentrate on the elbows. The, the building is still a little nippy. It's coming up to temperature. We've also got someone going around. Whoa, hold everything, hold everything. No one said anything about working with spiders. Now, Pete, I'll do whatever I can to help you out with frozen pipes. But I draw the line here. No one said anything about working with spiders. The next time this happens, you may be finding somebody else because I'm going to schedule a root canal on that day. Someone going around and, and they are cleaning out all the closets yeah, and they're trying to the open everything correct. up as much as possible. Yeah, I'm working on it. Another thing to have is a radio so you can kind of stay in communication on what's going on. So I had uh, strict instructions not to be making a YouTube video out of this. <laughs> so here I am doing a video too. Uh, no, I'm not. So yeah, they, they know I'm up to something. So this is my responsibility. So I'm going to concentrate on this a little bit. Um, again, I don't see anything broken yet. And I'm going to switch over to another couple of places here. This one here, I'm assuming is baseboard heat. Uh, because it's three quarter inch so again i'm just kind of heating up the elbow you know the building as i said before is coming up to temperature but this is just going to kind of speed the process up so, um, this is the safest way to do it is with a hair dryer don't ever use a torch all right so i'm going to stay on this one for a little bit heat this area up and move to my next location all right so this one here is on an outside wall and uh i'm going to guess it's going to probably be frozen up pretty good here it's even colder over here so we're having, I'm going to get some baseboard heat, get some three quarter inch. Uh, we have uh, hot water because it's red for uh, probably a shower. Or I'm not sure exactly what's over in that next room over there, um, bathroom or whatnot. And then we have the blue one for our cold water. So I'm going to spend some time on this one as well and uh, see what we come up with. Yeah, I'm on it. So they're checking on me. <laughs> Okay, quick little update. I'm back over on this piece of uh, three-quarter inches baseboard. Uh, where I just came from, they said it freed up and everything was fine, uh, what that was feeding. Uh, but they said that this over here was still not going. And uh, this is feeding an outside wall down here in the basement. So I'm going to kind of concentrate on this a little bit. Pete, it looks like we're all set. Ron, are you there? Go ahead. Yeah, it looks like we're all freed up and the pipes ah. are starting to warm up. Okay, good enough. All right, so it just freed up. They said that they can start to feel it uh, warming up in there. And I don't really feel anything here. So this may be the return. So the boiler is going out around, it's coming back, and maybe this is the return. And this is going back to the boiler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's warming up. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. All right, well, there it is. So I don't know what's going on on the uh, third floor, but I know the basement is all set. I don't see any water or hear any water, so we're all set. Okay, so there we go. That's how you unthaw pipes uh, using a hairdryer. Don't ever use a torch, like I said before. This is the best way to do it. And if you can get a bunch of people together, uh, you're going to be uh, that much, be much better and quicker and more efficient. A uh, hairdryer and an extension cord just go around from room to room. And if you're lucky enough to have what we have, we've got someone going around and kind of clearing all the spaces out for us as much as possible. We can kind of get in there and get the job done. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.